Symbolizing the years he struggled with addiction and what it took to overcome it. A Valley man took part in a challenging event in San Francisco, swimming with leg cuffs and running with handcuffs. Yeah, a retired Phoenix police commander also participating in the physically demanding course. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks shares how the recovering addict hopes to inspire others to rise above their hurdles in life. Michael Murdaugh talks with 12 News after returning from the Bay Area. It was our third annual race for recovery, and this year we chose Alcatraz. Murdaugh swam one and a half miles with leg cuffs and ran seven miles with handcuffs. Because of the current or the fog, the way they took us, it ended up on, on one of the racers' garments being 1.9 miles. It required a lot of strength and endurance. Instead of my feet being parallel, they were dragging, and I could feel them dragging from the weight of the shackles. The same kind of strength he needed to overcome an addiction he battled for more than 30 years. I started using it. At, uh, 11 years old is when I first smoked pot and drank alcohol. And then by ninth grade, I was doing cocaine. I tried meth. I tried pills. I tried acid. And it just fueled from there until I was 45 years old. He spent time in jail because of addictions. Without my faith, I would have never made it through rehab. I would have never made it to this point. It's actually very redemptive as I stand here in front of you today. At the end of the course, retired Phoenix Police Commander Kim Humphrey unlocked his handcuffs to symbolize his freedom from addiction. I was ready to cry. Having him take those cuffs off was so symbolic of where my life was when I used to be in these and where my life is today that I choose to put them off and prove to people that they can be taken off breaking the chains of addiction. Showing the world while overcoming an addiction is hard. It can be done with perseverance and determination. To help people get out of their addictions and to have the life that they were designed to have is priceless to me. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. I love that with the cuffs around his neck, very symbolizing for sure. Murtaugh has been sober for more than nine years now, nearly a decade. Through his recovery, he's raising money for parents of addicted loved ones, also known as PAL. It's a program designed to provide hope through education and support for parents dealing with drug and alcohol addicted family members.